So now I wanted to take you through the BTC RPC Explorer, which is your own uh, Bitcoin block explorer. Uh, and you can use this to explore uh, what's on the blockchain. It's a nice, uh, fairly user intuitive um, graphical design. Uh, and the way you'd install it is if you go to this section of the dashboard here, you just hit install. Once that is complete, just wait a couple of minutes and you'll be able to open up the Explorer like so. And it will open up a nice interface for you and it will present you with uh, a couple of statistics, a few statistics, uh, for example, the hash rate, the total transactions, the blockchain size, so on and so forth. Okay. Now, what this uh, website should be used for is to input any addresses or transaction IDs that you are interested in uh, to gauge what has happened and to uh, see if there's any confirmations or so on and so forth. Um, now, the reason that we use the Bitcoin Explorer or this particular Explorer that is hosted locally on our own machines is to protect against uh, any privacy degradations. So for example, if you go out and you query a transaction ID or a Bitcoin address uh, with another block explorer, like for example, blockchain.info or blockstream.info, um, what you are doing is you're logging your IP address with a particular transaction ID uh, or a particular address with somebody else's server and you don't know what they're doing with that information. So to protect your privacy, it's really, really important that you um, explore the Bitcoin network or explore the blockchain uh, in a more private manner, which this effectively does, and it hooks back into your Electrum server as well. I'll show you a couple of the features um, that this uh, specific Explorer has. So the first one you can see is just, you know, exploring blocks. So uh, here is the latest block. We'll just um, go into there. And that will show uh, what this block height is, uh, a summary of what is um, going on with it. It'll show you the newly minted coins. So there's the 12 and a half BTC, which is the inflation rate at the moment. Um, and so you can see where it's uh, gone to. Um, and you can also click on certain addresses as well. So for example, you can click on this address here and have a look at what's going on with it. So you can also see here the address um, and uh, you know it's got a, its own QR code um, if you need to scan it as well as uh, a trust note. So you'll also notice that this will hook into your Electrum server. So this is how you can then uh, explore specific addresses. Okay. So your your BTC RPC Explorer is linked back through to your Electrum uh, server as well. Um, just going back to the home page. You can see here, um, we've got transaction statistics. Uh, uh, yeah, so you can feel free to um, sort of explore this, this website. Um, one of the other uh, features is the node status as well. And this node status will basically show you, you know, um, what version of Bitcoin you're running, uh, the blockchain size, the block count, uh, your uptime, so how long this server or this Bitcoin node is has been running for um, since it last got shut down. It'll also show you your peers, uh, the network traffic, um, so your total download, your total upload for this particular uptime here. Um, and you will also see that it is uh, reachable through Tor, which is the onion addresses. It doesn't have an IP address. It runs predominantly through Tor. And that is how uh, your Bitcoin node is communicating with other nodes through that communication channel over, over Tor. 
So you can see here uh, that my address, my onion address is that for my Bitcoin node. Okay. Um, and, and that's probably something that you'll probably want to keep private. Now, in terms of peers, it will show you uh, who you're connected through to, what version they're running, um, as well as you know how many peers you're connected to and who you're connected through to. Um, these ones here are the ones that uh, you are connected to and are receiving blocks from. These ones here are the ones that are sort of leeching off you and uh, yeah. So generally speaking, you will have 10 of these addresses and the rest of them will be uh, feeding off you. Okay. Now, the other thing that you can do is look into the mempool summary. That's going to take a little bit of time to load. So in the meantime, I will show you the Bitcoin fun section. Uh, and this is a quite a cool um, uh, a page where you can explore some of the more uh, famous transactions that have happened in the Bitcoin world. For example, um, the Genesis block itself, you can explore that. Um, and you can also explore, for example, the infamous Bitcoin pizza transaction. So we'll have a look at that as well. There's some other ones in there that you can uh, obviously have a look at and see um, what, what what's happening with those. Um, but they are fairly old transactions. So uh, having a look at the first one here, this is the Genesis block. This is the very, very first, um, you know, Bitcoin transaction that ever occurred. Uh, and you can see that it happened on 3rd of January 2009. Um, so we'll look up this transaction ID and we can see here that uh, there's a hex uh, code here. And when you decode that, it shows the times 3 January 2009 Chancellor on brink of second bailout for banks. And that is your first ever newly minted coins for 50 BTC going into that address there. That's some, and that happened uh, on the 3rd of January 2009. That is a historic moment. Another historic moment is pr it is called the the famous Bitcoin pizza transaction. Um, this is where a gentleman by the name of Laszlo paid ten thousand BTC for a couple of pizzas, um, and so you can see all of these uh, UTXOs were his. Uh, all of these addresses were his, and if you go all the way to the bottom, you will see that here is ten thousand BTC being transferred into uh, his this account here, and so he paid uh, ten thousand BTC for a um, a pizza or two. So that's something um, that you can explore and have fun with. Now, the other thing that uh, this explorer has is the mempool summary. Uh, this shows you the transactions um, that are currently uh, happening, as well as sort of what the fees or the fee status of uh, what you're competing with when you um, broadcast a transaction. So you can see here that one to two sats per byte, uh, there's 275 transactions in there, uh, in the mempool for that. And the guys who are paying 150 uh, sats per byte um, or above, uh, there's 39 transactions sitting in there at the moment. So this is a sort of a table where you can gauge uh, what your urgency is and how much you would need to pay in order to get into the next block um, or have your com uh, have your transaction confirmed in the next block. So you can, you know, depending on your, your time preference, uh, that is how you would um, compete with what's going on in the market right now. This is the graphical representation of that and there's more graphical um uh, representations of that as well. Okay, so I think the most important part of the Bitcoin Explorer is to actually use it uh, and to remember to use it. Um, this is a piece of software uh, and it's a nice graphical interface where you can explore through the blockchain uh, and and see other people's transactions, see um, your own transaction IDs and so on and so forth. Uh, please remember to use it. It improves your privacy significantly. Um, so 
just be aware that you have that all in your node uh, and that you don't need to go out to any other external party to view this, uh, view it yourself.